Hey everybody, it's uh, February 12th and I felt uh, that I should come out here out back in the lab and show you what uh, we were working on uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, with our uh, ammo can wood stove. Alright, so our project uh, starts with a standard 50 cal ammo can. There's tons of videos to show you how to cut them up and uh, set them up as a wood stove. I did the bare minimum. I cut a 3 inch uh, hole with a Dremel at the top, sawed off the uh, the handles and uh, used the piece I cut out to be the door and I riveted uh, the door handle there. Alright, so here's our setup. We have the pipe uh, coming out and we're using a bipod that I use for hammock camping uh, to rest the chimney there. I have a little bit of piece of carbon felt there. We were testing out our structure, our shelter, and uh, we felt that probably just a little bit of carbon felt around the pipe. At that distance, it wasn't getting really hot enough, but we just wanted just a layer to protect it. We probably could use something else insulating there, but... Alright, so one of the things that we noticed with the 50 cal is the size of the fuel that you can put in. Uh, we found that between 6 and 8 inches uh, around this size is more than enough to put it in and fill it up. So, uh, which meant that you had to basically restock the stove fairly often. All right, so another thing I wanted to do was to cook on it using uh, my zebra pot. So I had done a chicken a la king recipe. That worked out pretty good. It took about an hour or so for it to simmer and cook. I had the little dish on the side. So there wasn't a lot, a lot of cook room. So for today I just wanted to uh, heat up uh, some Irish stew that I made uh, last night. So that's been sitting in the fridge there. So. so one of the fuels that we were experimenting with was uh, compressed sawdust logs. And we would break this up into smaller chunks throw a couple pieces in there and see how they would burn. Now, uh, this one brick here would probably last uh, a couple hours. So it was kind of interesting, but I didn't find that it generated uh, a lot of heat. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes here, so let's take a look at our Irish stew here. See how that's heating up. That's looking good. Uh, this is really, I think, just a simmering kind of stove if you wanted to do something on it. it took about a half hour to warm this up to something uh, decent, you know, hot enough temperature to have it as a hot food. Uh, boiling water would probably take just as long to do that. Now, of course, we are in the open, minus uh, 4 degrees Celsius, so if we're in an en enclosed uh, tent area or enclosed shelter area, maybe be, be doing a little bit better. I don't know. Not sure about that. So, anyway, put that stuff in your comments, and uh, we'll see you next time.